Hello there, Facebook friends, Twitter friends, as well as CGTN friends. You are actually watching live shows from uh, live uh, social media streaming from CGTN all platforms. This is Zhao Yunfei live from Tianjin, and we are here at the World Intelligence Conference in Tianjin. Tianjin is a city that is a 30-minute train ride from Beijing, so this is a、uh, quite close to Beijing, the northern part of uh, China. Uh, Today we're going to bring you some cutting-edge technologies at this World Intelligence Conference. Actually, more than a hundred、uh, companies gathered over here, and they are about to present their cutting-edge artificial intelligence technology for the entire week. But、uh, this is the second day of the presentation, and we are bringing you live from Tianjin to see to show some of the great things coming up over here. Okay, so the first one is that we're going to interview someone from uh, DJI. Uh, it's a very famous、uh, drone company in China. So let's go back to this side. Uh, hello, hello, hello. 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 Hello, Wei Huan Yu from DJI Drone Company, and it's, he's、uh, one of the members of uh, per, uh, in charge of the selling as well as the、uh, in the in the vendor company of DJI. Ah,、uh, you 今天给我们介绍什么？呃，今天我给大家带来一下今年大疆全新款的一款消费级无人机 Mavic Air。这是一款我们可以看到在后面这一款就是今年的最新款。嗯。呃，我给大家先带来一它的它的一个智能的一个模式，也是现在唯一的一款可以实现咱们用手掌。可以控制飞行器的一个上升下降，还有一些航拍的一个构图，先给大家演示一下。Usually, this is the mobile control is really hard、uh, to control a drone, but today, what you are show, what they are showing is that they can use their hands to control the drone. What you are seeing that、uh, our staff member is trying to use his hand to give the gesture to the drone, and he's moving right. And the drone is moving right, right towards his right side. And then, if the gesture goes to left, the drone will follow the path of the gesture. And that's a very interesting technology because there is a camera setting in in front of the drone, where you can take the thick pictures or video for yourself. Okay, the drone is going far away, so. He's putting his two hands aside, and then he's gathering his two hands. That's make the drone going closer. And what about going left? Okay, there he goes, and going down. Oh, so he's using two fingers. 两个手指头是什么意思？呃，就是说可以实现一个咱们的自拍，人脸的一个自拍。Oh, if you if you if you do do a do a this、uh, this gesture. Yeah, like, yay. So you can make a picture of yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the last gesture is that your hands going down for three seconds, and the entire drone will finish its mission. 我能试一下吗 ？I'm I'm gonna take a try. 呃，你来你来那个你来走那个你来帮我控制遥控器，我就直接用手就好了。Okay. Um. Magic show up. I'll see how this magic shows. When I try, I, I was trying to、um, control this drone.、Um, well, actually,、uh, this takes me zero minutes to learn about it because、uh, right before our live show, I spent basically five minutes to watch how he control the drone. It's a very uh, handy uh, operation, and this will be my first time showing that. We can. We can stand on this side, right? 对我们，我们站，我们站在镜头前。So, so I'm, I'm trying to face a place towards you so that you can see very clearly. I'm standing right in front of the drone so that the inside camera on the drone will be facing me. One of the function, the key function of it, is to taking the picture of yourself. Okay, now it goes up. Now that's. That's、uh, my way to control it. I want to move a little bit towards left, and the drone goes to left with me. Okay, so I want to move a little bit right. Oh, this is so fast. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the most um, the most exciting stand-up that reporters ever done for CGTN, which is a drone flying between me and the cameraman. Isn't that exciting? Okay, I'm a little. I'm, I'm gonna have it move towards the camera a little bit. Okay. It goes towards the camera. Stop. I'm going have it going back and then stop. Ooh. I don't know whether uh, the camera is catching that, but let me do it again. Going away. Going away. Going away. <laughs> okay. And go back. And go back. All right, dude, come back to me. Oh, why is it going higher? Okay, so... Oh, so this guy is really far away. Okay, okay, come back to me. We're gonna have it come back to me. Okay. A little closer. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna have it done. Okay, time to go home. Time to go home. Time to go home. Time to go home. Clever guy. You must have spent a long time studying this method. Uh, this method, like our research team, in our region, in Shenzhen, this time, it has a special research team that is constantly studying some artificial devices, like this device with the forward and back system. 然后里头包括有 GPS、MU 这些智能的传感器。它虽然说它个头可能只有四百三十克，但它里头包含了将近十五组的传感器，而且每一套都是有备用的，也有咱们统称的冗余这个系统。也就是说，咱们其中如果有一套传感器系统出现了问题，我们可以马上切换到另一组在上面。三百多套。呃，十五、十五组、十五组的传感器这样。Fifteen sets of a center object, sensor objects, so that it can help to read your gesture and How your hands move. And now we'll go back to see more things. Okay. 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 We are heading back to the headquarters. Well, actually, the exhibition center of the DJI to let the staff to show us more uh, on the um, more cutting-edge technology of their drone company. Well, as you can see, you are watching live shows, live video coverage of CGTN. Today we are presenting from the World Intelligence Center of Tianjin. Tianjin is located at a 30-minute train ride away from Beijing, and more than 100 companies join the exhibition of the World Intelligence Conference. So this is the, the exhibition center of the DJI, where you can able to see more um, drone companies. Uh, coming by. 给我们介绍一下，呃，您这边最牛的一个产品。OK。好，我们到这边来，我们到这，我们飞面对镜头。那边。但是这个站在后面可以。可以可以站在后面，嗯。对，这款是我们目前在行业应用里面最先进的一款，是经纬 M 二幺零系列。嗯。大家可以看到前面它是可以挂在双引擎的一个镜头。也就是说，可以大大幅度提升咱们平时在行业作业时候的一个工作效率，因为可以同时一个像类似一个大变焦的一个镜头，然后另一侧可以挂载一个热成像的一个镜头。这个是这个是摄像机，对对，这是一个大变焦的一个镜头，可以达到一个三十倍的光学的一个变焦镜头。So what you are seeing, this one is, it's a very, it's a lens that go far away. This is a lens, and that one is a heating sensor system where you can see 热成像是吧 ？You can see the. 对对，那这款可能这款不是。这款是一款普通的咱们影像级的一个镜头，哦、对，普通的一款影像级的。OK。So so， 我呃，为什么要挂两个两个这个不同的镜头呢？让它变得多功能是吧？对对对，像如果像咱们之前如果是
大面积的一个巡检，可能需要两架飞机。这次我们整合到一个飞机上面，可以大幅度提升一个座位的巡检的一个效率。So it's kind of a multifunctional、uh, drone where you can put different cameras or different sensors on one drone, where you can, you know, have multiple functions within one drone. You can do multiple things at the same time. 呃、uh, ，我想问一下，咱们的这个科技当中用运用到人工智能方智能方面有什么应用 ？What are the appliances of intelligence, artificial intelligence in the drone? 呃，像我们像这前面这两款，大家可以看到是一个前视目前视的一个避障系统，也就是说它检测到障碍物之后，飞行器会自己悬停在那里，而不会去继续一个做一个冲撞，来保证他们巡检设备的一个安全。哦、oh, ，So when it see some some kind of things lying ahead of it, it will Automatically stop because there is a sensor over here. We can see the objects in front of it. That's why it can stop immediately to、uh, prevent capsizing. I would say. So now, this one is in the market. What is the most popular use? Like our daily traffic survey, and then air surveillance, and our air surveillance, and our 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 This dude can go to the place that human beings cannot go to. For example, natural disasters like fire, earthquake, and、uh, a lot of、uh, extreme environments where humans cannot access to. But you can always observe the live conditions as those places that well, how it makes、uh, the unmanned drone, the unmanned、uh, flying drone.、Uh, Being flexible of uh, uh, natural disaster rescuing as well as、uh, preventing. 非常感谢，谢谢你今天介绍，谢谢你啊 ，Thank you so much. Okay, let's move on to the next station. What you are watching is the World Intelligence Forum live from Tianjin. What I really want to do today is.、Um, Have some kind of discussions because we're gonna show some cutting-edge technology, but at the same time, I want to have my friends from Facebook platform, Twitter platform, as well as other platforms to comment on what do you think of the artificial intelligence in your country. Tell us what is the most cutting-edge technology from your country and what do you think of it. Do you think artificial intelligence is a threat to the national and cybersecurity? Because, as you know, there are a lot of rumors going on the world. There are a lot of accidents going on for the entire world, where new technology is basically a threat to a lot of human resources, as well as a threat to its,、um, um, you know,、uh, employment. As well as、uh, there is a concerns on security. Uh, as well as national security, cyber security, many perspectives. Do you think artificial intelligence will replace human being eventually? And do you think it will be a threat to the national security? You may leave your comments on Facebook and Twitter. I'll be able to read out your, com read out your comments later on.、Um, If I won't be able to read out your comments, I'll basically use it in my future reporting. So it will be very, very helpful. Helpful. I will be watching my phone all the time. Tell us where you're watching this show from, and tell us what you think of the artificial intelligence from your country. All right. So now we're coming to the second place. This is、uh, obviously a, a motorcycle company. I'm trying to figure out a person that I will speak with, so it could bear me with one second. I'm gonna try to figure out who will be able to speak with me. Okay, I'm trying. I'm still trying to look for the person in、uh, the staff in charge. They're trying to speak with me.
Okay, one more time. You're watching live shows, live stream media coverage of the World Intelligence Forum in Tianjin, and we're really interested and curious about is your feedback and your comments on all platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and application. What? Where are you watching this from? And what is the artificial intelligence technology from your country? What is the most impressive technology from your country? And do you think artificial intelligence will replace human beings? And do you think that's a threat to cyber and national security? Please leave your comments on Facebook. Or if you have any questions, you can also leave your comments on Facebook and Twitter platforms. I'll be keep keep watching and read out your comments. We're still looking for. The person who will help us to explain what is going on over here. So let's take a few minutes to stand by. Speak with, uh, okay, Shi Xiang Lao Shi, we will introduce you. Okay, you will introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Xin Ye, and I'm from iconic Shanghai. Okay. Iconic Shanghai. Can you tell your tell us your name again? Uh, Xin Ye. My name is Xin Ye. Okay, this one looks this 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 is a race car. Well, yes. behind you looks really familiar. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, this car is made by um, W Moto, which is the co-founder of uh, iconic iconic. Uh, this car was firstly shown in the movie Fast and Furious 7, which uh, the famous uh, scene that uh, this car has flies through the Dubai tour. Is that exact car from the Fast and Fast and Furious? Uh, no, no, not the exact car. This car was limited, and uh, only there are only seven cars in the world, and uh, uh, this car was have has a very with acceleration power, which can they can reach uh, at uh, 100 km per hour at uh, 2.8 seconds. Wow! Uh, what does it break any world record? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. So why does the Fast and Furious select this car? What what's kind of the high tech, tech technology going behind it? Oh, uh, I think uh, first uh, it's it's uh, exterior design very modern, very fascinating. Second is uh, just as I mentioned, it has a very good acceleration power. So uh, this car was in th that movie. We have a very good cooperation with uh, that film. Wow. Okay. Uh, so well, this this is one. This one is definitely not on sale. Let's let's uh, go to one of the cars that actually goes on sale. Uh, is there? A, I, I, I see there are three cars over here, race cars over here. Is there anything that you want to show us, uh, or like uh, accessible for normal human beings? Oh, this car. This okay. car is uh, our iconic seven first model. Uh, it's the VIP version, which uh, it's aiming at uh, for. Uh, for like uh, businessmen uh, tra traveling, and uh, uh, many is focused on businessmen. Okay, now let's uh, kind of move on to the black car instead. How? Quer Quer Wang, this We're trying to go inside and see uh, one of the uh, new models. Uh, was actually accessible to. Uh, you know, customers. Um, can you tell us more about this car? Can you repeat? Yeah, what you can have saying? a look inside. Okay, we can have a look inside.
Uh, I, well, I'll sit inside. Oh. Can you can also go in? Oh, sorry. Okay. Wow, so so what what I feel right now is actually a uh, I'd say entertaining and uh, working environment right over here. Yeah, it's a very luxury MPV. Uh, we are aiming at uh, uh, for business mass uh, business trip and uh, uh, for, uh, we can have a, a te telephone conference inside this room, uh, inside this space. You can see that uh, here is a very big uh, screen and a camera in inside. Okay, so basically, this is more like for business people when they yes. really have really really busy yes. schedules, yes. and they have comfortable seats back back here, and they can yeah. have, you know, like working experience over here. Yeah. So, so is there a table over here? Or <laughs> no. no oh, uh, we have a cooperation with Microsoft, okay. so that you can open your uh, Word, Excel tables, and uh, check your mails inside uh, here because we have a cloud. Uh, we have a cloud with Microsoft, so that if you have a, a file saved in your computer, you can also open it here. Oh, okay, so is it is that a touching screen? Uh, no, no, it's not a touching screen. It's not a touching screen. But you but you can control touch over control over yeah, here. You can, can you can you show us one of the movies over here? Uh, no problem. Okay, here it is. So uh, basically, what he did was to touch one of the buttons in this touching screen and then from here you'll be able to see yes, this is the Fast and Furious 7 which uh, uh, shows about uh, the Lycan which uh, was just uh, mentioned before yeah this is the Lycan it's the same model of it wow I just gonna want to stay here and don't move anymore. <laughs> Very comfortable, right? So yeah, I also see there's a headsets over here. Yes. Um, which is also, does it link with Bluetooth to yes. the video? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a link with Bluetooth. Okay, that's cool. So what what about the driving experience? What what about you know? Uh, I I would expect this is really kind of stable when you work at the back. But what about yeah. the driving experience? Oh, uh, for this for this car, we mainly focus on the passenger com comfort. Comfortable. Okay. Uh, for the driving experience, maybe it's not so high technology. It's an sure. electrical vehicle, uh, very, uh, very quiet, mm. uh, very stable. Mm. Yeah. So, what do you mean by uh, riding experience? I mean, like the customer's experience. Uh, um, for the passenger experience, for example, you can see that we have very comfortable seats and. Uh, uh, cooperation with Microsoft in integrating many uh, applications uh, for personalized. For example, you can check uh, your uh, world, check your files, check your mails here, and uh, you can watch movies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, as you see, I can see there's glasses at the, at the top roof of yep. the car. Uh, what was that for? Yes, this uh, here you can turn. Tune the color of this light. Oh, you, you can see this is the RGB function. By turning the, uh, you can turn around here. You can switch to different color. Okay, what's that for? <laughs> yes, oh, it's just the the interior. Fancy. Yeah, fancy. It is for the interior lighting. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, and especially at night, where you can have party within the car, but you can't stand. You can only sit over yeah. here. And yeah. Maybe have a couple of drink. Yes. Mm, okay. That's right. Uh, and for this roof, uh, this is only for the shoe car. And for the model cars, uh, it will have a glass which can turn, also can turn the color. Okay, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, especially when it goes to rain, you can also witness yes. how, how yeah, fast. We, how, yeah, we can how, listen to the voice of rain. Okay. rain drop. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay. So what, what, all the operation over here is actually a touching screen. You can yeah. watch movies yeah. and turn the lights yeah, uh, with this room. And all also with, with the screen. climate, climate and the offers, you can change it. Uh, you can change the. Oh, screen. there's yeah. there's actually a browser over here where yeah. you can get on the internet. You can reply and upright. Oh, okay. Also, you can control the yeah, that's you know, the gesture of the up and right of your chairs okay. uh, within this touching screen. We're gonna head out. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you. In central, you can you can go first. Um, I have one question for you. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think the future? Uh, car industry or race car industry would be, especially when embedded with t uh, artificial intelligence technology. Okay, uh, 
Oh, it's don't, 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 don't worry. Uh, for this, uh, I think uh, in the future the electric uh, vehicle is a trend. So um, it will be more for uh, uh, environment saving, environment friendly. So, uh, so our car is focusing on the electric vehicle. Yeah, you know, I think it will be a uh, future trend of the vehicle industry. That's what I forgot to yeah. mention is that all the iconic cars uh, uh, are are fully electrical. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, driven. So, so it's it's, it's very clean. Yes. Uh, and also, uh, it's very uh, environmental friendly. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I think one of the big issues that really let's uh, try to walk out over here. I think one of the big issues that really bothers a lot of the electrical car is the sustainability of its batteries because yeah. the batteries will went out really, really fast. Yeah. What about the battery per behavior for, for um, on average for these cars? Uh, currently, we estimate our battery can run about uh, 400 kilometers. Okay. Yeah. 400 kilometers. That does that means you can travel from. Three cities, basically. Yes, basically, yeah. Okay, three cities with a car. And uh, for our charging uh, capability, uh, we can have uh, charging to 80% with the fast charging in 40 minutes. 80% in 40 minutes. So, yeah. so every 40 minutes of charging, you will be able to run 400 kilometers. No, uh, 80%. 80 80 80% of oh, 400 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, about yeah, three okay. three hundred kilometers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that's really cool. But uh, definitely, those kind of technologies will be improving as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. Okay. Guys, see you guys. See you. Okay. Welcome. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay. So what you are watching is the iconic. Uh, they are providing their electronic race cars, electronic driven race cars, um, at the World Intelligence Forum in Tianjin. We have seen drones. We have seen cars. And in this exhibition center, uh, there are many high technology going on over here. Uh, it's basically a renovation because uh, in the past, people talk about te technology, but now people talk about artificial intelligence. Um, different people have different understanding of what artificial intelligence is. Uh, some people think that it's, it's men driven to make it more like human friendly, while others, uh, I think um, this is maybe a, a kind of an improve, improving version uh, of artificial intelligence. What I, I'm really curious is what do you think about um, artificial intelligence in your country? Um, please tell us where are you watching this from? Um, and I'll be really interested to see what you think about the artificial intelligence technology from your own country. Um, wow, so there are a bunch of uh, comments I got from Facebook. Wow, people say good. Wow, nice. Uh, hoping for more pH, I'll definitely do that. Okay, I see, I see there are a bunch of people watching our show. Hello, those friends from Facebook. Tell us where you're watching this from as well. As well as uh, tell us what you th do you think that uh, that's artificial intelligence is a threat to s social security as well as uh, cyber security or what do you think about humans what do you think about um, the user's data in this in this uh, world of uh, high technology. Okay, I want to introduce more about this uh, uh, conference. This is located in Tianjin, uh, which I have a really special feeling of this place. It's because uh, I was born and raised in Tianjin. Uh, uh, my first 16 or 18 years, I, I've been living in this uh, city. I see the drastic improvement of this city because when I was a kid, this city, the people of the city, the mind of the people over here is not that open-minded. But yesterday at the keynote speech, the CEO of Alibaba, Jack Ma, says Tianjin is getting more and more open and it's mind of people how they think 
it's opening up. Uh, yeah. I think that's thanks to the 40 years of anniversary of opening up at this record. And also, uh, with these years, more and more companies are more involved in the city of Tianjin. Uh, people over here are beginning to think about uh, more like have a, have a world mentality as a world citizen. Uh, people are here embracing new technologies. So that's why you can see a huge crowd of people coming in and uh, visit the exhibition centers. What I can tell you is that this is a really crowd um, place, but actually the exhibition is not yet open to the general public of Tianjin people. It's just open to the people who really registered. So it will eventually open to the entire people in Tianjin during this weekend. That means you will expect more people a more crowded environment over here. So if you happen to be in China, uh, this place is a really good place for you to spend the rest of your week. We ha still have two more companies to show you, and let's go. The next company we're going to show you is JD.com. JD.com is a online e-commerce vendor of China. It's a very giant vendor. At the beginning of JD.com's uh, exploration, their, their, their early stage, you know, uh, customers are usually um, impressed by how fast they deliver the packages. For example, if, if I order something in the morning, the package will come to your door in the afternoon. That thanks to a high technology back 10 years ago. But now, JD.com is improving, further improving their technology and they're trying to set up a whole system to replace to replace workers or um, human work human uh, work human workforces to make the package packa packaging and delivering more um, efficient uh, give me one second I'm trying to figure out the person I can speak with at the JD.com Okay, uh, I'm trying to spoke with someone whose name is Wang Jingjing. Jing. I'm trying to uh, introduce. Okay. Um, now uh, we're we're coming to uh, a very special rec face recognition place. Uh, this is very fancy because it attracted a lot of people. Let me let me introduce Wang Jingjing. Can you introduce yourself? Please Okay, let's see the first one. Wang Jingjing is going to show us the first one. And this is a facial recognition system. Tell us more about that. Okay,在这个是一个VIP的人脸识别系统,就比如说您是这个店铺的VIP会员,那您进入到这个摄像头的采集区就能够直接识别到您是谁,您在我店铺内一些消费行为,然后结合京东线上的一些消费行为画像,
uh, more like accordingly. Let's show this one, and this this is one that's more fancy. Uh, uh, 跟我们讲一讲这个是干什么用的吗？好，然后这款产品是基于这个人脸识别做的一个实时检测用户面部表情分析，然后提就量化商家店铺内的服务质量，提升服务水平的一个工具。比如说，我们出现在了镜头面前，对吧？我们这个笑笑的大一些，我们的 happy 值就高一些，喜怒哀乐的表情，实时的一个检测分析，对。So this is a system where you can see. Well, if you look at the screen, it says happy, normal, sad, angry. There are four categories that shows、uh, that able to tell your your mood <laughs> from your face recognition system、uh, to see how happy or how satisfied you are. How do you apply this? Uh, when you enter an MN store,、uh, you buy something. In the past, people will request to comment on whether you're satisfied. Sometimes people are really、uh, are, are don't willing to give this kind of a feedback, but your facial expression already tells the camera how satisfied or happy you are. So let's do the experiment over here. Let's turn back to the screen. We want to try it. We want to try to make it more happy and happy. Okay. Jing Jing and I were trying to、uh, make our facial recognition more happy, as happy as possible. One, two, three. Okay. Both of our happiness is at、uh, figures more than seven. So happy, normal, sad, angry.、Uh, These are four combined uh, things that、uh, they will put together. All the four figures add up. To a number of one, so、uh, both of us had seventy percent of happiness. Let's do angry. Let's do angry. One, two, three. Yeah, well, well, we're, we're not doing quite well. It's all zero point something. One more time. One, two, three. I got two. <laughs> You only had one, so you're not a very angry person. <laughs> okay, I got two percent of angriness、uh, with the facial recognition. Let, let's do sad. Let's do sad. Sad. Okay, sad. Okay. Well, because both of us are really happy, so so we can't figure <laughs> out. A, we can't figure the machine. Even though we have a sad face, the machine don't. Still know that we're 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 showing the sad face with happy mentality. To, 你能告诉我们这个地方它的应用是什么吗？啊、uh, ，这个应用场景非常广泛，比如说适用一些商业场景、一些店铺内，我们能够实时的检测来电用户的一个客户满意程度，然后也可以拓展到一些服务行业，政府大厅或者一些办事大厅，能够直观的能够看到我们服务人员对于这个顾客来说，他的服务质量是不是满意的还是不满意的一个。So she says an example. If you go to the bank,、uh, in China, if you go to the bank, people will ask, "Can you can you、uh, tell me how satisfied you are?" Usually, people would say, "Of course, I'm happy about that." But they want to get the more accurate data from the customer to see whether they are happy. So that's why、uh, they kind of set up this uh, platform uh, to try to kind of、uh, use the cameras to tell how satisfied people are. And also at this exhibition center, this is the second day. Of the of, of of this exhibition, where you can see on May seventeenth, which actually today, zero people show their extremely satisfaction face,、yeah. and there are fourteen people satisfied, one hundred and ninety normal, six not satisfied, and zero extremely not satisfied. Why why there's no people extremely satisfied? Because usually in a kind of rating system, people would say extremely satisfied. Why? 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 啊，这个是通过机器学习嘛？通过大量的一个样本数据，其实越训练越准确。比如说，我们这个需要你大小，可能非常 happy 才能达到非常满意。Okay. 而且我们这个是实时来变化的。你可能现在当刻是非常满意，但是呢，五秒之后你可能就变成 formal。Formal. 然后我们这个从非常满意就会到 formal 里面。哦，实时变动的。哦，实时变动的。是的。所以我如果现在想让想，我现在让它变成零人到一人的话，我我需要我需要大笑多久？呃，后台控制我们，比如说现在是五秒钟到十秒钟，但我们这边是稍微有一些，就是当客用户在前面的展示，您离店之后，我们才会在这里显示出来。哦、oh, so, ，so so you won't be able to tell right now. But,、uh, this is a data system. I was trying to get the zero into one, but anyways, um, uh, now you can see there are a bunch of member, uh, the bunch of people show their feedback. Uh, there are zero people for extremely satisfaction. Usually in the rating system. You all got satisfactory in all the surveys. So this is the survey that can genuinely, genuinely show 
uh, how satisfied your customers are, and not necessarily customers, but also uh, for the rest of the people trying to do some kind of uh, uh, government or paperwork, or you can also install in government places and uh, bank places. Thank you, Wang Lao Shi. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's leave this store, and then uh, we we're gonna have another uh, explanation. Is that one of the concern over here? Is that there are a lot of cutting edge technology, but how would you update? Uh, well, how would you keep keep those kind of resources, keep those those kind of data? We're coming to uh, our. our Or are one of the sources over here. 你好，介绍一下你自己。啊、uh, ，你好，我是京东云京津冀大区的负责人王子涵。我、uh, ，您再说一遍。嗯，京东云京津冀大区的负责人王子涵。Okay, Mr. Wang Zihan, and he is uh the uh, iCloud general manager. General manager. General manager. I don't know how to translate the Jingjing. <laughs> Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei area. The general manager of Jingjing Cloud of Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei area. OK， 跟我们说一下这个这个运动员啊、嗯，好，我看在哪拍比较好一点啊？嗯、呃，这其实那个数字是最好的，但是可惜你们能只拍那个看得见。哦、oh, ，OK， 我们我们到这边来，我们到这边来。嗯。好、oh, ，OK，So、okay, so、tell us more about that. 京东云呢，京东集团呢，所有的从商城到物流到金融，然后到所有的 A、B、C 的技术，几乎全部基于我们的京东云。京东云上面运行着三千多个系统，然后呢，每天呢按毫秒级的传回后台，每天处理十八个 P 的数据。所以京东云呢，相当于整个集团对外赋能的一个非常非常重要的窗口，并且京东云和其他任何一家云不一样的地方在于，它当然也是从超级电商孕育出来的。不一样的最重要的地方就是，它已经超越了从技术赋能，已经演化成了像产业赋能阶段。所以所谓的产业赋能，就是指我们会对于区域的政府，我们会把整个集团的资源，通过云平台，通过大数据的服务，来和政府合作，把所有的产业做大。这就是所谓我们的生态促产业。如果只是说让政府的，让政府的这种。啊、uh, ，每年的固定资产的这种消费，然后转化成投资，就是原来我们政府会买服务器，那么现在呢变成了购买云服务，这个几乎所有的云的厂商都可以做到。但是京东云能做到更多，就是我们京东云的生态，京东系所有集团的生态，能促进产业的发展。这和天津啊，尤其是天津红中书记讲的产业第一企业家老大是非常非常吻合的。So what the make the major difference between Jingdong Cloud and other cloud is that this Data collection is also open to the、uh, to other companies, so people have the similar access. 就是就是也是给别的地方提供。对对对。Similar access to the whole data cloud. But what I'm really concerned about is that、uh, how how the users' data is being dealt with. 您会不会担心在大大数据时代，呃，人们的这个就是信息会被滥用？当然担心了。但是我更担心的，我觉得人心光明啊，最重要的是大数据。如果我们真正的从价值观，因为京东的价值观就是正道成功，我觉得基于这样普世的价值观，那么我们好好的应用技术的话，说一定能创造美好的未来。那如果说这个被滥用，那这种被滥用，或者说不只是在大数据时代啊，我们在以前的没有大数据的时代的话，说依然会面临这种困境。So it's kind of a data abusing. Well, this is a, always a trending topic of data abusing. But uh, uh, you just say that well, it's 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 all a matter of ethics and moral.、Uh, you have to take the responsibility to be able to take care of your data user face, user user state as well、uh, in order to kind of uh, uh, take a good advantage of it, but also、uh, not hurting people. Thank you, 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 Okay, let's let's、uh, move on to the final store of today's live show. We've been showing some big tech giants. Now I want to open a floor to a university. Oh, we have a we have trending topics、uh, over here in the Facebook. I'm trying to show see what are the people's comment from our Facebook platform.、Um, let's see. Oh. Why are you guys not commenting? You guys, you guys are talking about McDonald's, really? <laughs> Very good journalist, Mukesh Yadav. 
says, I'm a very good journalist. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next station we're going to is Wuhan University, and they are, expo they are experimenting a new robot, which can help people... Um, can help people work with uh, many, many uh, factual things. Once again, you're watching live shows, social media streaming from Tianjin. This is Zhao Yunfei. And we're showing you China's most cutting-edge technology of artificial intelligence, as well as there are also, of course, participants from the rest of the world, uh, where a lot of... Uh, people from outside of the country are also interested in uh, the, the, the tech, this kind of technology. So right here we're arrived at Wuhan University and uh, they have uh, a bunch of research system going on right here. Uh, you can also see that this area is uh, crowded with many people because people are always uh, curious about uh, academ academia and uh, humans work. So let's try to talk with someone inside over here. Hello, introduce 第一个是它可以进行一些自主的定位导航 Navigation system so it's kind of uh, more like uh, 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 you can also also communicate with the robot somehow with yeah. with, with uh, artificial technology. Uh, 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 so so it, 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 its eyes can also see uh, to to collect the information from its surroundings. Right. Wireless charging system. Uh, 怎么讲无线充电是在哪里的? Okay, so it also has a wireless system. So can you show us uh, what, what, what are the things it can do? Okay, uh, so it can see uh, the they are about to show the, the, when, what they are showing right now is the navigation system, so it is actually letting it go, and if there's something going right in front of it, I'm going to right, jump right in front of it. I'm going to jump right in front of it. Oh, it will stop. It will eventually stop. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, where, where will it go? Okay, it will go to another side. So it's all objects, all objects in the surrounding, that's why they won't be able to walk. Okay, okay, now it's find a proper position to stop and then it's ready to work. Shake hands. Be able to shake hands. So, so you said ni hao, and then you also put out your hands. That's why it comes out his hands to shake hands with him. What else? Okay, he's saying, are you happy today? Yeah. Uh, he's not. Yes. Okay. This, this guy is definitely happy. Do you think I'm handsome? Handsome. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> not, not exactly. Not, not really. <laughs> okay. 对，这就是通过我们一些设定的一些特定的场景和我们对近李云的一些交互，我们说了什么，他对我们进行的一些回应啊。这是我们展示的第二个功能。So, so, so basically, it like a human being, it can interact with,、uh, with, with human beings. What's the purpose of that? 为什么要要有这种语言交互性？呃，因为机器人它的发展可能就越来越要像人一样，所以我们要赋予它像人一样的视觉和一些语音、听觉这些东西。所以，人的交互方式也是通过视觉和语音这些。所以，慢慢的要赋予机器人也有这些功能。刚刚就是它可以有语音，然后动作呢也是它就通过视觉获得的。所以，就像人一样，给它眼睛，给它鼻子，哦，给它嘴巴，给它耳朵，这样让它可以像人一样跟我们进行交互啊，跟我们进行回应啊，这样。So. Robot has to be robot. It has to be like man-like robot. Early in the early days, the robots are really man-like, and then we realized that okay, some of the robots are really small boxes. But nowadays, they are kind of developing some of the robots that really can work as a man and interacting with a man. 下一个可以给我们展示的是什么？呃，刚刚我也说了，我们要赋予它视觉，让它通过视觉来呃获得周围的信息。这里屏幕上展示的就是它通过眼睛它看到的世界，就是它可以看到。比如说，像我们人也是，他可以看到我们，他看到的是人，或者是。就是、这 so so basically, this what the screen shows is what the robot is seeing. What does it say? Person. It says person. Okay, I see a person. Okay. Uh, our camera person, our cameraman is carrying a camera. It doesn't say camera, right? <laughs> oh, the skeleton system of a human being, which is showing over here. Okay. 这种方式就是人体骨架的一个移动，它就可以知道周围的人在哪里，在干什么，在进行一些什么样的动作。OK， 所以就很像人一样，通过视觉获得周围的一些信息。So that's be able to tell how the what the what the man is doing is it shaking hands or whatever doing whatever the things. This robot will be able to tell、uh, the gesture as well as the 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 conditions of the people. 这个还是挺酷的，还有什么级别的可以展示？呃，第四个就是我们刚刚说的那个无线充电，它在那边。它能自己过去吗？啊，这个它可以自己过去，但是这个展示实物在这里。我我给你 show you the charging system, how how to charge， 呃，这个东西是吧？啊，这个东西。哦、oh, ，OK， so that's a picture over here。这个展示的就是那个。OK， so that's the exact thing。对，这个这个东西也可以，呃，这个东西跟市面上一些无线充电装置相比，就是它更加的轻便，并且它更加的高效。就是比如说，如果它放置在地面上，机器人底盘再放置之后，它可以直接机器人通过。它在在这上面是。对，就是两边，然后机器人到达一定位置，在零点三米范围，它可以自动充上电，所以特别的高效。然后除了。它可以应用于机器人，还有现在一些新能源的汽车啊什么的，它都可以去应用。Okay. So this little charging system, you can put it on the ground. When the robot going through, it just complete an automatic charging system. It doesn't not only apply to the robots. Let's say if your car goes through, you can also charge the car. We just encounter some of the cutting edge technology、uh, with a racing car, where Maybe in the future, charging is no longer a problem. 我最后一个问题想问你，在武汉大学或者说在中国的在在中国的学术圈，你觉得做这种 AI 的这种技术的研究，你作为一个 P PhD， 你有什么体会 ？What What do you think about the AI technology industry as a student, as a PhD student? What's the academic environment in China? 嗯、um, ，这个问题我想请我的师兄来回答，因为他比我认识的更多一点。Okay， 那你来回答。More person, more thoughts.、Okay. 呃、嗯、呃，什么问题？您觉得在中国做中国的大学研究系统里面，做武汉大学做这个这个呃，而就是 AI 技术这个环境怎么样 ？What do you think of the AI technology industry in terms of academic environment? 嗯，现在在大学和研究机构里面做 AI 做深度学习做机器学习氛围还是很火热的。像我们实验室
呃，武汉大学测绘遥感信息功能国家重点实验室，是一个专注于测绘和遥感领域的一个呃重点实验室。然后呢，现在尤其在这几年，深度学习和机器学习非常火热的时候，可能我们大量应用了深度学习和机器学习的技术来处理遥感影像解译，然后场景识别、模块识别这样一些工作。然后呢，相比于传统的这种方法，取得了很好效果。什么叫传统方法？传统 it's, it's it's better than the traditional way, but I'm figuring out what is the traditional way. 啊、呃，传统的方法就是可能我们需要呃建立一个很。很建立一个特别，呃，物理或数学的一个模型，然后我们去，然后我们要设计一些图样的特征，特别就是，呃，特别的 m a n u 而不是那种可以挖掘这种模型之间的深层次的特征。然后我们我们用深度学习的话，可能可以可以像黑盒子一样，我们模拟这样一个过程。然后我们呃仿，我们我们对这样一个过程进行一个比较好的一个。一一建模，然后呢，相比于传统的方法来说的话，它的比如说对于识别、分类、精度，达到了一个不可思议的效果。So kind of like machine deep learning will be able to help、uh, to build more、uh, precise、uh, data in terms of、uh, recognition as many other perspectives。您觉得整体环境会是怎么样？学术环境？学术环境还是非常不错的，尤其在大学里面的话，会有很多学校或者是基金支持的项目。我们我们学校里面也会跟各种企业。不管是学校的企业还是这个社会的企业，会进行广泛的合作，然后呢，会进行产品的孵化。就在以前应该是没有的。对对，这一点非常可非常可。So it's kind of a working relationship. They also build connection with some of the private companies. Uh, well, this is really rarely to see a, a, a cooperation between universities because usually universities in China are usually state-owned and working with private enterprises, which gives the on campus the students who are still on campus. More opportunities in the society, so that's a very great experience. Thank you, Shishong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay,、uh, we're leaving this、uh, our very last last exhibition. So that concludes our time at the World Intelligence Conference in Tianjin. There have one thousand, one、well, thousand, not thousands of, but hundreds of exhibitions in Tianjin. But only we selected four.、Uh, I want to explain why we give the chance to Wuhan University. To the very last time, that's because a lot of the time when people we spoke with some people, I actually did a Vox Pop Man on the Street interview yesterday, and when we spoke with them, one of them tell me that there's not many environment for private companies or small companies to thrive within this artificial intelligence industry, especially when tech giants going in, they have big data, they are more likely to survive. But、uh, but in many other parts of the world. Small companies and private enterprises are also being able to involve in the technology development. So many people call for more opportunities for academic reforms as well as small enterprises to be more involved in high tech development. China has a lot of、uh, beneficial policies towards technology development, both in terms of financially and research support. So maybe in the next years, Tianjin Forum will be able to see more smaller, uncovered stories going on at this exhibition center. This is Zhao Yunfei live from Tianjin. Thank you for watching from all platforms. Please stay tuned at CTT and all platforms. I will have more support file from Tianjin in the next two days of the CTT and channel as well as new media forum, new media platforms, where you will be able to see more in-depth thinking from my following two stories. Thank you so much. Have a rest of the day.